Hi and welcome to Moms on a Mission. If you have not subscribed to our channel, hit that subscribe button below. Also hit the bell notification so you know every time we upload a video. Grab a cup of coffee, hot tea, your juice, whatever it is that you like to drink, and let's get into God's Word this morning. I was going to do a couple more chapters in the book of Revelation this morning. That was my plan, but I got steered away into the uh, first book of Peter, so I would like to read 1 Peter chapter 1, uh, maybe part of chapter 2. Let's just see how this goes. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the pilgrims of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father and sanctification of the Spirit for obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it be tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen you love, though now you do not see him, yet believing, you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls, on this salvation the prophets have inquired and searched carefully, who prophesied of the grace that would come to you, searching what or what matter of time the Spirit of Christ, who was in them, was indicating when he testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glories that would follow. To them it was revealed that not to themselves, but to us, they were ministering the things which now have been reported to you through those who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things with which angels desire to look into. Therefore, gird up your loins of your mind, be sober, and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ as obedient children, not conforming yourselves to the former lusts as in your ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct, because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy, and that is God speaking. And if you call on the Father, who without partiality judges according to each one's work, conduct yourselves throughout the time of your stay here in fear, knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct, received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. He indeed was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, who through him believe in God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are in God. Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit and sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart, having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God, which lives and abides forever, because all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man is the flower of the grass. The grass withers, and its flower falls away, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Now this is the word which by the gospel was preached to you. I have read 1 Peter so many times, and because God's word is active and living, when I read 1 Peter this morning, it just jumped out at me as to um, who we are called in Christ Jesus um, and what our salvation is and how it is incorruptible and how we are to walk in holiness um, as God is holy set apart and these are just it's a beautiful beautiful scripture 
Um, I really wanted to go on, but there's just so much power in just this first chapter of 1 Peter. I would love it if you all would get your Bibles out, um, whether you read it or whether you have an audio Bible, um, whatever means you have, the internet, and, and just read, really pray for God to reveal His truth to you through um, 1 Peter and read the first chapter, I really feel like that it's going to be a huge blessing to you. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, it is Monday here in the U.S. and I hope that God blesses you and keeps you in His perfect peace. I love you brothers and sisters. God loves you. Yeshua, Jesus, our Messiah, He loves you. He loves you enough that He died for you. I'll see you next time. Shalom. Bye.